okay so today I'm going to be changing the brake pads on this well at least looking at the brake pads um, so I'll show you how to gain access to the brake pads um, it's nice and easy this one so we always start off by releasing um, releasing this one here just to release the tension on the brake and you'll see the arm will slide down which just means that it's loose um, but there's no tension on the piston so you're not pushing any any pressure onto here then you've got two little um, torx heads or two little um, hex heads here that we release and that releases the piston completely and that's the second one out and then the whole caliper just comes out as one now if we look through here these here are magnetic um, brake pads so we've got a little sort of key on the back here which if we open it up with the, with the right size hex would be helpful So if we just unscrew this slightly, that pulls the pad back in. So the pad goes back in. We'd, we would do the opposite for the other way. Um, but then that just allows us to get these pads out. Two secs. I'm just going to go and grab what I should have had in the first place. Nice set of tweezers. Um, So with these pads on this side here where you see these little clips you can just pull these out with the tweezers okay so I messed that off camera there so you'll just literally get them and pull them out and same with the other one just pull them out so we'll have a look at these and these are absolutely fine there's nothing wrong nothing wrong with either of these they've got plenty of life left on them um, so we'll just make an adjustment with these and put these back in um, so again when we put these back in you'll put them pad out and we'll put this one in first because that gives get that gives us the um, the room to move to make sure that's lined up and it's all it's all in square so because you can pull this screw out here that allows us the room to get the other pad in so then we'll put the other pad in just line that up with with the tweezers and that's in and then we'll make the adjustment on this side so we'll just adjust this until the pad itself is slightly out so you see that you can see the pad starting to come out and then we'll just make sure that we can obviously fit that over the disc let me just move this slightly so you can see so then that will go over the disc and then we'll just make sure that that can go on properly and that's it and um, then we'll tighten up and then I'll show you how to adjust the last bit so let me just pop you down again for a second while I tighten these up um,
put the right end on, that would help, wouldn't it? Now I like to pull this up a little bit because what that does is it puts tension on the brakes so that they square up properly. So if you lift this up whilst you're tightening this up, then you'll know that the the lineup of the actual caliper is, is correct because it will be holding on to the disc properly from both sides. Um, it's just a little trick I've learned and that gives you a, a much better sort of even wear on the disc uh, on the pad sorry okay that's us so we're there now uh, just make sure that's tight that's tight there so then what we do is we just make the final adjustment on the brake itself And to do this, all I do, let me pull this out a little bit so you can see. So I just roll the wheel back and forwards to make sure that the make sure that the um, the wheel's turning freely. And I'll pull this up until I get to the point where it's not, and it's there's a bit of resistance against it. And that's the point I want to be at. So there. So that's where you want to be. Just there. So then we'll put the stand back down. Just get to that point there and then we'll tighten this up make sure that this is fully home because otherwise um, it will pop in and your brakes will be really loose right once you've tightened that up you double check so you put your, you put your brake on and that's fine any other little adjustments that you need to make you can make afterwards when it's on the floor um, but that's us done that's the brakes adjusted on this and um, we'll just put it on the floor and just make sure that they are um, stopping properly if not again you just push this up a tiny bit or pull this down be careful with this though if you pull this with pliers because these can come off um, so just put a little bit of tension on this and tighten it up as the as this threads through um, and that's your brakes done